The 1980s, Reagan was president, and these cars were the biggest thing going. Cars from the 1980s, some of them more than quintupling in value over the past five years. Joining us to break it all down is McKeel Haggerty, the CEO of Haggerty, the great collectible car insurance and research company. McKeel, thanks for joining us. Got to be. Let's start with the Ferrari. Uh, this is a 1986 Ferrari, the Testarossa, famous from Miami Vice. Why are these cars so hot right now? Well, we've been talking about Ferrari values going up for years and years, but what's quietly happening happened is the next generation has come along and said, you know what? These things have been underappreciated. These are the cars that were on the posters on our wall. So the we guys like you and I that were teenagers in the 80s now have money, some of them do, and they want what they loved as teenagers, right? So and these that this car, let's go to this yep. car, because this was this car was on the poster of every teenage boy's wall. This is the Lamborghini Countach, 1980s, 89, right? 89, Famous yeah. from the Cannonball Run. Absolutely. What's the value of this car? So these are over six hundred thousand dollars, which is uh, it's a staggering value. Increase. They were 130. Now they're 630. So 130 to 600. What are the the best examples of this car going for now? Well, the best examples were the earliest ones from the 70s, and those are a million, million and a half dollars wow. easily. But this is 25th anniversary. These are amazing cars, and even though they're just look like a spaceship. This is what people like us are but snatching this is, this up. But this is almost 30 years old, and it still looks modern. I mean, yes. that, that's the beauty of this car. And, and, of course, again, from the Cannonball Run, all those. But not great cars, right? I mean, the, the, one of the reasons these cars were valued so little is mechanically, they're not great, right? Yeah, I mean, they were they were finicky cars, you know, and, and these cars took a lot of maintenance to sort of keep going. but. The next generation is saying, we don't care, this is what we want. And I just tried to get in that one. Not an easy car to <laughs> yeah. get in and out. BMW, you know, I don't think of BMWs as collectible cars. What is this car? What's it worth? So, um, you know, the BMW M3s were an incredibly successful sports car in sports racing. They actually won more races than 911s. Really? So this car actually, it's we it had sort of this bad yuppie vibe back in right. the 80s. <laughs> right. But these are the younger generation. And in fact, what's cool about these is these are even millennials buying these cars as a cool collectible car. They were $15,000. Now they're 70, 75, wow. even above that. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.